Hi everyone, welcome to a very unexpected Nature Walks with Gabe. Um, <laughs> I am very busy on, on my way, but there's a creature that may need my help. Right across the road just here. So I'm going to see how it's doing. Check it out. Hi. Hi, big one. You are awesome. Are you going that way? If you are, I'll help, but if you're not, I'll leave you alone. You are so big and cool. It's huge. Probably a female. This big beauty is a common snapping turtle. And every year in the spring, we see turtles like this all in all of our native Ontario wetlands moving around a lot more. Some are looking for new places to live. A lot are looking for places to lay their eggs. And you have to be really careful when driving around roads around wetlands and keep your eyes open for these guys because as you know, they're not very quick moving and can easily get hit on the road. Um, so if you see a turtle on the edge of the road looking like it's about to cross in a particular direction, uh, it's a really great thing to do if it's safe to stop and try to help it across in the direction it's facing. You want to make sure you grab the turtle by the shell and typically near the back of the body is better because a lot of turtles and especially a snapping turtle may turn around and try to bite you. They don't understand what's going on. They're trying to protect themselves. Um, so you want to make sure you have a firm grip on the back of the shell. Use two hands when you're moving a turtle. They can be really slippery on the shell to grab and hold on to. And they won't necessarily cooperate when you try to move them. Uh, this big one certainly didn't for me. Don't grab their tail or their legs because that can really hurt them. And make sure you're very gentle with it as you go. Uh, though if a turtle's too big, you can get some help too. Because I was trying to move the turtle safely, I wasn't recording myself uh, actually doing the moving. So I only have the before and after. Here's a rough representation of what that looked like. Always make sure that regardless of how imperiled the wildlife you want to help is, that you be very careful whenever you're trying to cross the road. If you need someone to come help you manage the traffic, make sure you get the help before running out into the road. If you have any questions about this, there's lots of great resources online. One of my favorite is the adopt upon website. And their website can give you a lot more information about turtles in Ontario. Special shout out from me to everyone at adopt upon who taught me the best way to help turtles like this. Also, make sure you wash your hands after you touch any reptile, whether in the wild or in human care. <laughs> we made it. She was not happy with me, and still is not. But we're across the road. She's slicing up a little bit. I'll have to get that cleaned. Right there. But, uh, we made it across. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> I was so excited that I forgot to sign off. <laughs> Don't forget to find wonder in your everyday. See you next time.